so essentially, I mean, the top line is that we're going to find out, absolutely confirmed there by Sir Graham Brady, that we are going to know who the new Conservative leader and Prime Minister of this country is on the 5th of September when Parliament resumes uh, after the summer recess. We also learned that the ballots for who wants to stand in that election to be the new Conservative leader opens and closes tomorrow. Uh, so that means that any other candidate who wants to simply get their name down i pretty Patel, the Home Secretary, who seems to be the last major one who would do so, need to do that by tomorrow. Then we're expecting the first ballot on Wednesday. The threshold to get involved in that is going to be set at 20, which is quite high, given the fact that only Rishi Sunak and today Penny Borden have crossed that threshold, though a lot of the Conservative Party, a lot of their MPs haven't publicly declared who they would back. And then, interestingly, to get into the next round, into the second round, you need to secure at least 30 MPs. So this is the interesting thing, isn't it? They're obviously trying to whittle down the number of MPs who get through each round and make it more and more difficult uh, to do so. When asked when that process would end, he said he wanted to do it as soon as possible, uh, but that in the end that could go into next week. They want to get this sorted out before Parliament goes into recess at the end of next week. But the 5th of September, we will have a new Conservative leader, Patrick, and a new Prime Minister.